I've made a few videos on designing lures in Fusion 360, but I realized that the techniques I was using were fairly advanced and I had completely skipped over a lot of simple techniques for designing lures that will produce some great baits. Today we're going to fix that by creating a simple curly tail grub using only three functions. Sketches, extrudes, and fillets. Fillets? Fillets? Fillets. First up I want to share a tool that I think is critical for my bait design the digital caliper. I have trouble visualizing dimensions in my sketch and comparing those to the real world size of an object. It's also great for taking measurements of existing lures. Say you have a lure that has the same size body as the one you have in your mind. You can just take a measurement using the digital caliper and put that into your design. It's super handy. The link to the one I use is down below in the description, but you can find these just about anywhere. Lowe's, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, uh, Northern Tool, all those type of places will have a simple digital caliper. You just want to make sure it has millimeters and inches, which I haven't found one that doesn't. So a few things to think about first before you actually dive in and start designing. The overall length of the body, the length of the tail, and if you're making an injection mold, you know where you're gonna split it. Typically, for ease of use, you only have one split. So let's jump into Fusion 360 and get started. First, I'm gonna sketch the very front of the lure. In this case, I'm gonna use a simple 10 millimeter circle. The important thing here is really that I'm placing the center of the circle on the center point of the Fusion 360 world. This will make lining everything up and keeping everything symmetrical much, much easier. Then I wanna draw a center line that is the same length that I want the body of my lure. Now, I could have done this first. Honestly, I probably should have, but the order at this point doesn't really matter that much. This is just gonna sit here to give me an idea when I go to extrude how far to actually extrude it out. This is about simplicity, not about accuracy. I work in millimeters because I'm gonna 3D print this and 3D printers work in the metric system. Luckily, Fusion is smart enough to do the math for me. So I can pull this line out and I can simply type in three space IN for inches, hit enter, and Fusion does the math for me and converts that directly to millimeters. Super duper handy. Thanks Fusion, now the fun begins. The extrude command takes a sketch or a face and just kind of pulls it out and makes it solid. It's a very simple yet powerful function inside of Fusion. I can I could take this circle and pull it all the way down to the end and have a basic tube, but that's pretty boring. What I want is a grub body to have a little hump in it in the middle. To do this, we use the taper angle feature in the extrude command and make it a positive number. This way it's gonna grow out as I extrude it. I usually just eyeball this until something looks right. Again, we're going for simple here, not exact. So I get it stretched out to something I like and I just hit enter. Now I wanna stretch out this hump section a little bit. So I click on the back face of the taper here and just extrude it out. Again, I'm just kind of pulling it, eyeballing it here. We're not engineering anything to specs at this point. Now what I want to do on the tail is I want to take this hump section and taper it down relatively small, at least compared to the front of the lure. So I'm going to use the same extrude command, click on the back face, but in the taper section, instead of a positive number, I'm going to put a negative number in. That's going to shrink it down as it tapers. And again, totally eyeballing at this point. So now we have our basic shape, our basic body of our grub. What I want to do at this point is kind of smooth out these very sharp angles here. And so I'm going to use the fillet command. And that's kind of like the sander, you know, the edge rounder of the fusion world. So I click on the front face, hit the fillet icon up here, and again, I'm just moving the slider and kind of eyeballing it. You can type in a number if you know a number that you want to use. You know, sometimes it's easier just to type and change the numbers, but I'm just going to kind of move it here and see what I like. 
hop over to the back side, do the same here. What I'm gonna do on the back side is I want it to really be as close to a, a circle on the end as I can. So I'm just gonna pull it out until it gives me an error message, which means I've gone too far and back it up just a bit. And there we go. So now we have our body shape. It's looking good. Let's work on that tail. This is pretty simple. What I'm gonna do is draw a sketch on this middle plane here. Since I centered my circle at the beginning, I know that this middle plane is directly in the center of my lower body. So I draw a line across here. I'm not too worried about getting it in the center. You'll see why. Uh, I'm just kind of giving it a, a basic width here at the base. Then I use the fit point spline. Ugh. Then I use the fit point spline tool. And this is how you basically just draw curves in fusion. The more points you have, the more control you have. So, you know, you can usually be pretty gener So you can usually be pretty click happy as you go around here. The more you have, I don't want to say the better cuz then it gets a little fiddly, but you know, just do you. I usually try to start with less because you can easily add more simply by right clicking and say insert fit point spline point or something like that. It's on the screen. And you can add another point if you need to. So I'm just gonna sketch out a rough diagram on one side, try to match it up on the other side. I'm pretty terrible when it comes to drawing curly tails. Uh, I'm sure there's a better technique out there to do it. Again, I'm trying to show you an easy way to get a basic lure design. You can sit here and fiddle with these fit points all you want. Once you draw these out, uh, hit, it, hit the escape key to get out of the fit point spline tool. You can click and drag any of these points. You can also click a point and then it has these green kind of handles and you can move those around and shape the angle of that fit point spline. I'm not gonna bore you with trying to fix this thing up to look cool. Let's get on to the more exciting part. So again, we're gonna go back to our old friend, the extrude command. Uh, we exit out of the sketch, hit extrude, select our drawing. And the difference we're gonna make here is we're gonna make this a symmetric extrude. And what that does is it takes the plane and instead of extruding it one direction, it extrudes it in both directions the same exact amount. So the number you type in here is going to be doubled to make the overall uh, width or depth, height of your tail. How thick it is, how's that? So in this case, I want about a four inch thick tail. Again, totally up to you what you want to do. So I type in two and boom, we have our tail. Perfect, perfect. Well, not perfect. This end is terrible. So what I'm going to do is actually change the sketch that I used in the original tail. This is a very powerful feature of Fusion 360. I simply right click on the sketch down here in the little timeline, hit edit uh, sketch, brings me back in here, I grab the points, and I'm gonna bring them inside of my body now, so it kind of comes out of the body around. And I actually find it easier to start wide, do the tail, and then come back and change the sketch to pulling it in. It just seems to work better for me than trying to come out of the body into the tail. I have no idea why. So now we got our tail, again, back to the fillet command. Select it, fill it, make sure you fill it the top and the bottom. You can select them both at the same time to fill it the same, whatever is easy to you. And now we're done. We have a very simple curly tail grub. So next you would probably wanna make a mold. I have a couple of mold making videos here. I'll be doing a new one that has a simpler technique. If you wanna see how to add details like ribs and eyes to this lure, click this video right here. Take care everybody, tight lines.